So let's take a look at how Google Keep works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the website keep.google.com and you're going to want to sign in with your Google account. Now if you don't have a Google account, I am going to put a link in the cards above as well as a link in the description box on how you can create a Google account. Now, please note that creating a Google account does not necessarily mean that you have to have a Gmail email address. You can create a Google account with any email address at all. Okay, now that I have that said, let's take a look at this. So what you're going to do is you're just going to start right here and click take a note. And then you're going to give it a, a title. So let's say shopping list is going to be my title. Then, for something like this, I can start writing things down that I need. So, uh, maybe I need bread and flour and eggs and milk and a whole bunch of things like that. You can do a couple different things now that you're here. You can set a reminder so it can remind you at a specific time or if you're at a specific place. You can add a collaborator. So this is where you can add someone else to be able to share the um, this note with you so you can both be editing it. You can color code it if you want to get nice and organized and color code things. Maybe that helps you out. You can add in pictures if you want to add in a picture and you'll be able to find something. You can archive it if you don't want it anymore. And then there's some more things here. Like I like to do show check boxes. So this way I can check things off as I buy them. Um, so I can put a little check mark here and then it still shows it down here for me. So I'm able to see my list, but it's not necessarily there all the time in the top part. So that's pretty much it. You can also pin the note to the top if this is an important thing and you know you're going to have a bunch of notes. You can do this as well. Now I highly recommend getting the Google Keep app. It's available um, iOS or Android and you can also create notes and edit things that way if that is easier for you. I think it's nice to have both options available. Then the last thing I want to talk about is labels. You can make different labels for things so you can organize them. So let's say I'm going to have a label for home. And then maybe I will also have a label for work. So I can label things. So now what I can do is when I edit this, I can add the label of home. So if I click on work, It'll show me any notes that are associated with that label. I haven't created any, so I don't have any. I also have home as well. The nice thing is that you can also do a note with a drawing, and this works a lot better on your phone than it does on the computer, depending, I mean, if you have a touch screen or something, you can write yourself a note if it's easier for you to do things um, with a pen or a stylus, you have that option as well. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and um, talk to you soon. Bye.